Happy Saturday guys. I'm just going to be attempting to make a basil pesto but a vegan one. So instead of using parmesan cheese, I'll be using nutritional yeast. Um, so yeah, I've got some nice fresh basil and I'm just gonna get straight into it. Rightio, so here I've got the, the remnants of the basil bush, I guess you call it, bunch of basil. So it's roughly um, about two cups. So if you buy a decent sized bunch, you should be right. And then we've got half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, half a cup of the nutritional yeast flakes, which just come in a bag like that. They sort of act in place of the Parmesan cheese. And then we have a third of a cup of pine nuts. So I'll just um, get on with it. Okay, so in with the, into the food processor with the fresh basil leaves and the pine nuts. Oh, whoops, I haven't put the blade in. Oh, oh well, I'll be back in a second. Okay, the blade's in now. So we just put it on, give it a pulse. A couple of, a couple of pulses. Then we add in our nutritional yeast. And about three teaspoons of um, garlic you can use fresh ones but I just use this on hand because it's quick and easy for me I haven't got time to muck around but I do like using fresh garlic but this is just the minced one in the jar okay so then lid back on okay so once that's all incorporated then with the food processor going, we just slowly add in the olive oil. pieces of basil still left on the side just scrape it down otherwise it won't be very nice if you have big chunks of basil oh it smells awesome okay so just put the lid back on and that's it all done fresh beautiful basil so i'll just pop that in a a glass jar in the fridge um, lasts for a few days but if you don't want to use it all at the once just pop it into some ice cube trays and once it's frozen pop them out into a snap lock bag and then when you want to make pasta or anything like that you've got it all fresh on hand so thanks guys and yeah I'll pop the full recipe in the description box thanks for watching bye